Hello and welcome to this video explaining what systemization is in business. We've had a, a few questions recently uh, asking exactly what do we mean by systemizing your business um, and what the difference between systems and processes are. So I'm just going to give you a quick explanation about what systemization is. So within your business uh, you have processes which um, are generally documented as process documents and that details how to get from point A to point B on a task. So it could be, uh, for example, how to attract new customers on your website via social media posts, for example. So you'd have a process document that details out how to do that. The system for that is how to go about doing that process. So systems can be manual or automated. So going back to that example, for the, the process would be to do a post every day on social media to attract new customers to your website. The system around that would be um, a manual one for you to research relevant posts um, type them up, post them each day, direct them to your website. So you and using Facebook or a scheduling uh, app like Hootsuite. So that's the system around the process. So that's the difference. The process it details what needs to be done and the system is kind of what, uh, how to go about doing it. Um, and why you need both is because if one system uh, goes down or changes and you need to move, you can still refer back to your process document and then use it with new systems or new technology or new staff. Um, and then you, you can have business continuity. Um, you could also have automated systems for processes. So for example, uh, new customers who sign up to your website, you want to send them a set of emails so your process would be um, when a customer signs up to your newsletter on your website send them email a then three days later send them email b three days later send them email c uh, the automated system around that would be to embed a say for example a mailchimp um, uh, subscriber form into your website and then use the MailChimp's automated uh, email sequence so that the process that you want is done completely hands-free and automated. So that's the difference between processes and systems. And what we mean by systemizing your business is that you need to have the processes in place and know the technology or teams that you can implement to make those processes efficient and um, timely and good service for your customers and good value to your business. So that's what we mean. Um, join us on the next video for my explainer about outsourcing. Hi there and welcome to this video explaining what outsourcing is uh, in relation to your business. Outsourcing can mean full-time, part-time or project-based. Um, we've used each of those. So we've had part-time VAs, part-time uh, physical staff here. We've had project-based people using Fiverr. For example, the logo for Business SOS was created on Fiverr. The intro video sequence was done by someone else on Fiverr. Um, and we've used like 99designs for our Turner Invest logo. So there are a lot of different platforms out there to do project-based work for you to outsource to. And the other option is full-time. And we've got a team of full-time virtual assistants that manage multiple of our businesses. Um, and that's what we mean by outsourcing your business. Now that only comes after systemization because you need to have the processes in place and know what systems you want to use or at least have an idea of them in order for the people you are outsourcing to 
to do the work to the required outcome you want. So that's why we go systemization and then outsourcing so that you know exactly what you want from your business and what you want from your team or what you want from your um, outsourcers, the people that you um, do get one-off tasks from. Then you outsource it to those people so the tasks are done without with less of your time so you can focus more of your time on the high-value tasks in your business. One of those high-value tasks in your business would be to scale and grow your business. So join us on the next video where I will look into the scale element of the business SOS model. Hi and welcome to the third video of the Business SOS model. Uh, this one is focusing on scale. So once you have systemized and outsourced most of your tasks in the business, you will be able to free up your time to focus on the scale of your business. So ideally you want to be systemizing and outsourcing all of the lower value tasks that you have on your plate in your business so that they can be done without any uh, more of your time or at least less of your time just to oversee the team, therefore freeing up your time to spend on the higher value tasks um, to focus on the growth and the strategy of your business. Now, once you've gone through this cycle of systemization, outsourcing and scale once, you could systemize and outsource the growth part of your business so then your business can business can still grow without you without you in it. And that is the whole business SOS aim, so that you can earn more and work less by systemizing, outsourcing, and scaling your business. So join us over on businesssos.com, and we hope to see you online.